guys welcome back to another day in my life today is wednesday no it's tuesday may 30th it's the day after memorial day hope everyone had a really nice memorial day weekend i took like a few days off i think the last time i worked on youtube stuff was thursday and then i didn't check my email all weekend since friday i checked my email last night on monday and i got the sunday scaries i think last time i talked about sunday scaries some people didn't know what that was basically it means like on a Sunday night like after the weekend's over and you're kind of like getting ready for your week and getting ready to go back to work or school or whatever it is you just suddenly get like really anxious and nervous you get the scaries because you're just thinking about oh my god I have to go back to work this week like you know that kind of thing so I had a major major Sunday aka Monday scaries last night I checked my email last night and I also recorded a video and I literally like this is why I have to check my email every day because it just builds up so much but like I said, I tried to give myself some time off and it was a really nice relaxing weekend. I didn't do anything crazy. I stayed home for the weekend. We went to the pool one weekend. We went like to the mall. Um, we hung out with uh, our families, Anto's family and then my family too. My mom's birthday was on Memorial Day. So it was just a really nice relaxing weekend. But now we are back to work and back to regular programming. I have a few things I wanna do. In today's vlog, I have mainly a lot of things I want to do around the apartment. I have new furniture I want to assemble. I'm so excited to show you guys. I picked up a couple new furniture pieces, not like huge things, but kind of more like accent pieces that I want to unbox and assemble and arrange and put up. So I'll get into that a little bit later. I also need to run to the mall because I have a Sephora pickup order that I need to go get. And then I also want to restock on my Nespresso pods. They have a bunch of new summer flavors and I'm dying to try them out. So I'm going to go pick some up and then I need to go to the grocery store. I have a couple of things I need to pick up. And also I want to get some fresh florals. The flowers in my apartment right now have been dead for like the past two weeks. I need to swap it out and refresh the apartment. So yeah, we have a lot of fun things. I'm gonna get done today. Right now I'm sitting at my desk. I'm getting some work done, I'm answering emails. Does anyone else get the Sunday scaries? Like, especially when it comes to emails and you know, stuff like that. I feel like today everyone is just so out of it because it's the day after a long holiday weekend. I know I'm not the only one. I was struggling with this but um, yeah so I'm gonna just finish what I got to do here and then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and like unbox the furniture because they've been sitting at my front door for the past like few days I wanted to wait till I had time to vlog to put the furniture together so that I could do it on camera and show you guys like me setting everything up I'm so excited I'm like dying to do that so I want to finish up really quickly and then we will get into that so here are the two furniture pieces that I'm going to assemble today they are both from Nathan James, and they're also the sponsor of today's video, so thank you for sponsoring today's vlog. I'm so excited about these pieces. This one is called the Sonia Side Table. It's like a little round, two-tiered side table that I'm thinking I wanna put in the living room, either like right here, next to the couch in front of the lamp. Um, maybe just put it right there. Put like, I don't know, a little pot of flowers on it. I always just really want a side table because if I'm sitting like over here, I don't need to like reach over to the coffee table. Uh, if I have like a drink or something, I could just put it right down on a side table. So I'm either gonna put it here or on the other side of the couch, like right there, just depending on where it fits and where it looks best. So that's the first thing I got. And then this is a bookshelf. It's called the Theo Bookcase. It's kind of like a floating wall shelf. You like um, nail it into the wall, it looks like that. And for that, I wanna put in the kitchen, right where that photo frame is. Cause this is like a really big space here. And I just think it'll be so convenient to put like cups there, mugs there, you know, my coffee machine is right there. So I kind of wanted to add more like shelves here to kind of give the kitchen more life and also just to have more storage space because my cabinets with all my like cups and stuff is getting way too crowded. I'm running out of room. I don't really have much cabinet space in the kitchen. So I thought the shelves would be a perfect addition for some storage and also for some cute decor. If you've never heard of Nathan James, they are a design first furniture and lighting company. They sell furniture pieces that are high end design, but they're also affordable. They offer lifetime warranty and also a hundred days, no question asked, free returns. And if you just look at their website, they have so many cute, 
pieces. I love all of their furniture pieces. I love the style and the aesthetic of their pieces and their products. I'll link their website in my description if you want to go check out their inventory. And of course, I'll link the pieces that I'm going to assemble and show you guys today. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble the furniture and we're going to start arranging things. Okay, so I have both things assembled. Assembly was so easy and really, really quick. Took me about 15 minutes to do this one. Took me about like five to 10 minutes to do this one. I love the little shelf. So adorable. I wanna put like the remote controls on here, the coasters on here so that I can keep the coffee table like completely clean, like nothing on it except maybe a pot of flowers. So that's my plan for the coffee table and this little side table and then maybe put some books on the bottom. So I'll decorate that a little bit later on after I go pick up some fresh flowers. And then for this one, I do have to hang it. I absolutely love it. I love the colors. I love the look of the wood. I love the color of it too. The color of the wood, this like beautiful, like kind of chocolate brown color. So now I need to dig up my drill, my, what do you call it? my power drill. I don't know where it is, so I have to go find it so that we can hang it on that wall right there. Also, I wanted to show you guys the instructions that it came with because it is so like fun and I love how they kind of like set this up. It's really easy to follow and I just like like the language like it's as easy as it looks. It's like super friendly. Um so yeah, I really love the instructions. So now I have to follow the instructions to hang it up. They have a instruction like part for if you have either drywall or if you have non drywall so i do have drywall so we need to follow these instructions it doesn't look too bad um it's very clear like i said gosh you guys the shelves turned out better than I imagined it was actually very easy to hang as well the instructions were so clear and it feels just very sturdy and it feels like it's not gonna fall I always get nervous hanging things on these like apartment drywalls because I always feel like you know heavy things are gonna just like fall down and rip the walls but no this feels so so sturdy so yeah here's an up close I'll probably put like some mugs here uh, maybe some wine glasses other dish things and maybe some decorative things. I'm so excited to decorate. I'm gonna do that after I get back. I'm gonna go run my errands. I need to go pick up some fresh flowers. Maybe I'll put some fresh flowers on here too. But yeah, I am obsessed. So thank you to Nathan James for these beautiful, beautiful pieces. I'm gonna link them both in my description. Definitely go check it out. Okay, I just got back home. I went out and I ran some errands. I had to go pick up some things and then I also picked up some new flowers. They had peonies at Whole Foods. This is where I got all of this. I also got some hydrangeas. I'm gonna make maybe like two or three arrangements. Put one on the coffee table and then maybe one on the new like shelves.
Okay guys, the decorating is done. I am so happy with how everything turned out. Starting off with the little side table. I'm gonna work on this a little bit, but for now I just put a candle, some coasters and the remotes. I do want to get like a little box for the remotes so that we won't lose them and that they're like stored a little bit better. And I didn't get enough flowers, so I think uh, when I go back to the grocery store this week, I'll get another little thing so I can make an arrangement to put there. But I did put the um, peonies over here. I love how it turned out. I love this little fishbowl vase I have. I got that from Michael's a year ago. So I just mix that in with some fillers, the baby breaths. And then my favorite part, the hanging wall shelf. It just fits so nicely into the kitchen. I feel like it really pulls the whole kitchen together and I think it looks so perfect there. I love it. I just love how it adds more storage space. So I have my mugs here, a few of my mugs. These are like my most commonly used mugs every day. So I put them there so I can easily grab them. And then this is my little mug with matching saucer. I also use that quite often. And then I just have some decorative books. This is a cookbook, um, Magnolia Tables. So we put that there. And then on top I have some glassware, my Estelle colored wine glasses, and then my Our Place little like mini uh, cups. And then this is where I put the rest of the baby's breaths that I had left over in this little vase that I thrifted. I love how the shelves came together. Like I'm really so obsessed, I can't stop looking at it. It just looks so good and the shelves are so sturdy. I literally tested it. I was like putting some weight on it, making sure that it stays nice and um, screwed into the wall. And I love it. I love the colors. I love the wood. I just feel like it looks more homey in the kitchen now. Oh my gosh. I love, 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 love it. And then I just put the hydrangeas on the dining room table. And now I'm just obsessed with this whole section of my apartment now. All right, so I did stop by the mall, like I said. I had a Sephora pickup order, and then I also stopped by Nespresso, and I got all of the new summer flavors. I'm really excited to try them. I might make a coffee, even though it's kind of late. It's like 4.30, um, who cares? Maybe I'll make a coffee just to like taste test it, but I did get another one of the sweet vanilla. This isn't new, this is just something I get every time I make a purchase there. And then this, I don't think is like very new. I think it is newish. I've never tried it before, but it's the whiskey essence flavored. So apparently this has like a taste of whiskey in it. I feel like that would taste really good, like coffee wise. So we're gonna try that. And then these two are uh, new coffee or new summer flavors. So this one I am most intrigued about. It's watermelon, juicy watermelon over ice flavored. So I think I might try this today. I posted this on my Instagram and some of you guys asked me to like let you know what I think about it. So I think I'm gonna make this. I'll make a little iced coffee, a nice afternoon iced coffee because this is a pour over ice. And oh my gosh, I'm just really excited. I hope that tastes like watermelon. I don't even know if I want my coffee to taste like watermelon. I feel like that's such a strange combination, but we'll just have to find out. And then this one is Tropical Coconut Over Ice. This, I think they had this last summer because I remember getting this last summer. Like I remember getting some sort of coconut flavored thing. So this one is 7.77 fluid ounces. So this is a full cup. And then the watermelon one is 2.7. So this is kind of like an espresso shot. So that's all I got from Nespresso. I need to restock my Nespresso little pod holder and we'll do that after this. And then from Sephora, I picked up just a few new products that I really wanted to try. These are all new things I've never tried before. The first thing is from Amika. It's the Flash Instant Shine Mask. So this is an in-shower mask. You leave it on for one minute after you wash your hair. Basically, it's an acting treatment. It helps to seal soft and hydrate hair. It's supposed to just make your hair really silky and shiny. So I really hope this works because I'm like still on my journey to get my like natural virgin hair back and make my hair just naturally shiny and soft and smooth again. 
So I really hope that works. I can give you guys an update as I use it. And then this next product is from a brand that I've never tried before. It's called Daily Luna. So this is the Everywhere Spray to Wipe. It's a spray you can put it on like toilet paper and it's for like your intimate areas. And I think also you could just like use it all over your body, like maybe under your armpits for like a quick refresher. So I thought this would be nice to keep in my purse and also as a travel item to bring with me. Instead of bringing like wet wipes, I don't have to like go out and buy new ones. I can just bring this with me, you spray it on the toilet paper. It'll be good to put in your purse. So if you're like out using a public restroom, you can just have this with you and use that. So I have high hopes for it. And I think this is good for like sensitive skin too. So I'm excited to try that. And then the last thing I got is Oh, I'm really excited to try this out. It's the Gizu Honey Infused Lip Oil. I love this line. I'm a huge fan of the hair oil. So I was dying to try out the lip oil. I love the packaging. It's so cute, so fun. So honestly, maybe I'll try it right now. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. I don't know why I feel like it would smell like honey it doesn't smell like anything it looks like honey though no but it feels really moisturizing gives my lips a nice shine I like it mm. kind of does smell and taste kind of waxy though which isn't a bad thing I don't mind it but yeah that's all I picked up just a few things so now I'm gonna go make myself an iced coffee and we're gonna just see how the watermelon tastes I'm very excited beautiful colors for summertime. Okay, another reason I love these new shelves in my kitchen is I have a new place to put my camera. Okay, so just first impressions. I just brewed it. I'm gonna add ice later, but just first impressions. It smells like watermelon. It smells so sweet. No, it smells like literally watermelon. I'm gonna just do a little taste right now just to see if it actually tastes like watermelon. That's so strange. It does taste like it. The smell is so fragrant. Like it really smells so much like watermelon. It does taste like it too. Wow, wow, okay, very interesting. I'm gonna add some milk and creamer now. Mm. So, so good guys. It's very sweet, it tastes like watermelon. It has that hint, I can taste it. Oh wow, it tastes really, really refreshing. I need to order like four more sleeves of this because I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. Last week, Bath and Body Works was having a sale on wallflowers. So I stocked up, I think it was like $5 for two of these, like these little double packs. I think originally they are, I think originally these are like $15.50 but they were on sale for $5. So yes, I did stock up and I got all of my favorite summer and fresh scents. I have this fresh and relaxing one. I got fresh cotton. Oh my God, I love fresh cotton. Warm ocean breeze. We have turquoise waters. I just wanted to get all the, you know, beachy, uh, sandy scents, beautiful day. Uh, fresh cut lilacs, fresh linen, laundry day. I love like linen and laundry scents, like fresh cotton. This one is Fiji white sands. And then this one is Tiki beach. So I got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I have 20 new wallflowers and I keep them stored in this little container. I don't know if they're all gonna fit. hours later it's late at night Anto and I went out for a little quick small dinner at Kava and we've just been home since then I took a shower and let it air dry my hair is in its natural form and we're just gonna get ready for bed so I'm gonna end the vlog here and I hope you all enjoyed this one hope you enjoyed 
my new furniture pieces. So yeah, thank you again to Nathan James for sponsoring this video. And I will link the products that I featured in today's vlog. Go check them out in my description. Good night, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next one.